Hello student. Today I am going to explain the topic uh, is called a uh, Huckel rule. What is meant by Huckel rule? How it is helps to identify the aromatic compounds. So here uh, Huckel rule helps us to identify the aromatic compounds. So here I am going to discuss about the Huckel rule. So scientist Huckel uh, proposed some rules to identify the whether the given compound is aromatic, whether the given compound is uh, non-aromatic. So this will help us to identify the Huckel rule. So what are these rules? Mainly three rules is there. You can apply these three rules to the any of the system you can apply. So according to this rule, any system should obey the these rules only it should be obey. Then only it is called as a aromatic compound. So what is the first rule? So first rule is to identify the aromatic. There uh, the compound should contain the sp2 hybridized carbon atom should be there the first point is they should contain the sp2 hybridized carbon atom sp2 hybridized carbon atom to identify the hybridization already i made a video i will give in the card once you go and check once i have for example carbon carbon triple bond is there that is called sp hybridization carbon carbon double bond is there that is called as a sp2 hybridization carbon between the carbon single bond is there that is called as a sp3 hybridization carbon and carbon 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 so first rule is so so here you see here sp2 hybridization that means carbon carbon should be a double bond should be there so next example is it should contain the 4 and plus 2 electrons it should contain the how many electron 4 and plus 2 electrons are 2 and plus 1 pair of electrons pair of electrons are pair of bonds also you can it is called here n is nothing but the number of the rings how many rings are presented so for example n like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so so n is nothing but the number of the rings should be there so another here another um, some num some number of the electrons will be there that is called as a magic number you can here see any system should contain in the two with cyclic ring two electrons and six electrons and 10 electrons and 14 electrons and 18 electrons and 22 electrons and 26 electrons these numbers are called as a magic number for the aromatic compounds these numbers are called as a magic number for the Huckel rule so system with the cyclic ring having the sp2 hybridized with the these number of the electron two electrons that is 6 electrons, 10, 10 pi electrons, 14 pi electrons, 18 pi electrons, 22 pi electrons, 16, 26 electrons. So these are the 5 electrons. So those are called as a aromatic compound. What is the third one should, should be there? There all the 5 electrons should be there in the conjugated. They should be there in the conjugated should be there what is mean by uh, what is mean by conjugation conjugation is nothing but the uh, taking place in the resonance resonance should be that means complete delocalization of the five electron should take place in the atom so complete delocalization complete delocalization delocalization in the sense what delocalization localization in the sense what only one place delocalization is in the sense of changing its places changing its places means in the sense so in the chemistry what resonance should be there localization that means one place delocalization that means changing its one place you that means conjugated uh, which means that that it contain under the resonance due to fact that it contain the partial double bond should be there for example if you are talking about the benzene ring we can using by using the benzene ring we can easily identify so here benzene ring so formula is c6 h6 contain the n number is equal to one you see here six carbons is there uh, out uh, all six carbons are in the sp2 hybridized they should be there hybridized and they will go to in the resonance will be there resonance will be uh, resonance in the sense this bond shift to here again this bond shift to here again this bond shift here that is called as a re resonance bond shifting is called as a resonance will be there so we can apply the four and plus two rule we can apply how many rings only one ring is there 
so 4 1 plus 2 so how many 6 electrons are there 6 5 electrons are there 3 5 bonds is nothing but the 6 parent this is follows the this this means what according to the hook rule 6 5 electrons should be there 6 5 electrons are there now that's why uh, benzene is called as a aromatic compound or you can say the 2 n plus 1 2 1 plus 1 so how many 3 5 bonds should be there 3 5 bonds are there now yes 3 5 bonds are there this is the one rule uh, this is the one example now we can uh, give the another example is naphthalin and anthracene see here next example is naphthalin naphthalin is containing the two ring system it containing it containing the two ring system it contain so if you are watching the my videos first time first like the button and subscribe it so it is a one benzene ring so alternate double bond uh, should be there here double bond is there so you should not draw the uh, keep the double bond here automatically you can keep double bond here and uh, alternate double bond should be there so you can keep the double bond here so this is the naphthalene system naphthalene system naphthalene system having the two rings is there so n is equal to ring all the carbon atoms whatever the carbon atoms is there carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so delocalization of the pi electron should be taking place this means um, it, it is involved in the resonance it is involved in the resonance and much more thing we should apply we should follow the 4n plus 2 5 electron rule system it should follow that is called as a hook and roll 4n plus 2 or 2n plus 1 so how many rings n is nothing but 2 rings so 10 electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 how many 5 electrons 10 electron is there if you want to apply in a page so total should be how many 5 bonds 5 5 bonds yes 5 5 bonds 10 electron yes this is the 10 electron system so if you take the another examples called as a anthracene so anthracene is a 3 cyclic tricyclic system here you can see the 3 um, rings you can see benzene rings 3 benzene rings you can see it is also called as a tricyclic system So here, so this is uh, this is called as a tricyclic system. Here also see each and every carbon atom, whatever the carbon atom is there, sp2 hybridized carbon atom. Carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized carbon atom. It is a cyclic in structure. It is the delocalization of the five electrons will be taking place. So apply the four and plus two rule. So how many rings is there? Three. 3 rings is there so how many electrons should be there so 2 14 electrons should be there how many 5 bonds should be there you can apply 2n plus whether it is apply the 4n plus 2 2n plus also will be like similar only that means what so 14 5 electrons should be there at the same time 7 uh, 7 5 bonds will be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 5 bonds is there so this is about is okay but what about the furan so few you know, furan is also called as a you know, aromatic compound we are calling it as a aromatic compound so so why it is called as a aromatic compound so now you can see the furan structure so now you can see furan structure See here this is the purine ring uh, so how can you call it as a purine uh, is a aromatic compound if you see uh, one of the lone pair of electrons in an oxygen atom is a delocalized in the ring so here one lone pair will be there now those will be like uh, participated in the resonance it will participate in the resonance. the oxygen atom is a sp2 hybridized which one of its lone pair is in the uh, p orbital it created a cyclic phi system with the six electrons it created a cyclic phi system so that means what it act as a five bonds it act as a five bonds it act as a five electrons it act as a one of the lone pairs in the oxygen atom if you see the uh, resonance what will happen if you see the resonance of the oxygen a uh, purine so this is the purine ring see here here uh, one lone pair of electrons will be there this lone pair of electrons involved in the bonding so, so here the uh, this lone pair electron form a bond here. These uh, five electrons will come out. So if you want to, it, it will form here. 
so automatically the electron centers here so electron will come outside so this losing of electron this is called as a positive so gaining of electron is called as a negative uh, so here so this electron will come to here so here you can see so whenever it comes to here it is a positive so here what will happen again this electron will want to come here this electron will form this will form double bond so here electrons will be there these electrons so this bond will go here so automatically will form 1 2 3 see here uh, see, the electrons or whatever the electrons is there in the oxygen are involved in the electron is involved in the um, delocalization is involved so that should be there so this is about the today videos uh, hook rules